Okay, friends, subscribers, and all of you YouTube out there, welcome to the show. Um, this is actually a remake of the video that I made, or the stream I did the other day. I realised that there was a, quite a lot that I forgot to say in the stream, so um, what I'm actually doing is I'm going to redo the video and explain everything in greater detail. So uh, every person on the face of this planet... So my fellow countrymen, Romans, China, Chinese, Filipinos, like English, US, Russia, Zimbabwe, please translate. If you live in a country, please translate this one video and get it to your world leaders as soon as as you possibly can. This can work. Problem is, all the government plans, they're good, but they're not good enough. It's total isolation, and I'm sorry, the only way to stop this is we've got to find out where the infected are. And if we don't know exactly where infected people are, we're never going to end the virus. This is going to be the toughest thing that the world has ever done. And it really, truly will be tough for all of us. I've gone through and I've shown people how to make masks. And I, I'm very serious that if my government doesn't start acting and doing, like, better things, i.e. stop fucking the mail... There's things coming through the mail the virus could still be alive on. For God's sake, shut down the mail and quarantine it at least for 20 days. Let it die on the surface. Disinfectant the outside of every bloody package. Whether well, you've got to run it through a gas chamber before you send it out. Yes, we're not going to get our parcels out. But the problem is, eBay sellers are rushing it from China. They've done it to me. I spent two and a half hours disinfecting a package only to go and quarantine that package. And I'm so lucky that I had gloves on and my mask on. After I realised what package it was, when I got a phone call from my postmaster because the Australia Post are doing something. They've shut the doors and you, if you get a package... Well, they're going to ring you up, especially if you've got a P.O. box and things like that. So they're ringing you up and you go down and pick up your package. They bring it out to you, um, which is a lot safer and it, which I think is a lot better. It's allowing them to um, still operate and wonderful job, by the way, guys. Wonderful job, Australia Post. Now, the thing is, it's the mail. It's also putting every male employee at high risk. The Australian government and all governments need to realise none of you know exactly how this virus is spreading. It's getting in, got into our country before people were realising it was in the country. It's not just coming through the airport. Oh, in a way it is. It's coming in as packages. The virus can live on a surface for up to 16 days and still be contagious. Go and read all the research, for fuck's sake. It's coming through the post. Because 99% of products are coming from China. No matter where you buy your product, whose website you're going to... There's a 99% chance they're getting it made in China because that's what everybody does, gets it made in the cheapest place possible. And it's very true, except for ZS. The ZS will not be made in the cheapest place possible. It will be made in Australia, by the way. Now, we can actually stop this pandemic, but unless we know where these cases are, See, we can't just rely on our governments to help us find these cases. We can re better rely, and take, take note of this, Mr. Morrison, you better shut the post down, or I seriously, the next letter out 
will be to the Queen herself. And don't worry, I still can email it. But I'm going to write a physical one. No. And I'm going to frame it and show everybody that I did physically write the same letter that I'm going to email to her. And I'm going to appeal to the Queen to remove you for incompetence. And, I'm, and to remove your government for incompetence. The measures you are taking are not serious enough. You need to take more serious measures. Shut down the post. China can get it here in four days now. Like this company that sent, and I'm serious, like I reckon the guy should be charged with attempted murder because he was told very clearly I'm a vulnerable person. The moment he told me it was coming from China, I requested a refund, told him exactly what was going on with my health. That gentleman or whoever that person is should be physically charged by the police. And I'm not joking about that one either. I don't want anybody coming here until it's all over. But I don't know because if I get sick, there's only one place that could have come from. You've got to ask yourself, where is that coming? Oh, yet I got told by the government not to worry about it. It's I've disinfected it, but it's still gone into quarantine to protect me. Because I'm old and frail. Yeah, you know, I'm an old, rough, tough bloke frail now. Old age unfortunately got me. But I'm still fighting it. <laughs> the fucking artist I can. But the thing is, if you don't shut down the post, Mr Morrison, you could end up winding up killing a lot of people. And people, if we find out and if we can prove that cases are coming through the mail and you haven't shut the post down, not just me is only going to want to to kick you out. The rest of Australia is going to want to kick you out, sir, because your measures are half asked, And they really are, sir. They are half asked. The virus, the, the, the virus can only live for so long and it can only do what it can. And this is direct from the WHO, the World Health organization but this is from me from all the research I've done I've looked at this objectively using the time spans of the virus it really only comes to 30 days but you've all and whenever you invent something or when and I'm an inventor by the way I've actually developed an aircraft that will change the way man goes in and out of space I've got another one I've got a pattern on that you've all seen the ad for. It's going to hit the markets and, and like everyone, I'm actually going to be a, a wealthy man when it happens. But the thing is, at the moment, there's a massive pandemic killing all of my prospective customers. I'm trying to prevent that. I have a solution. It should be listened to or even considered and make, when it's considered at What's it called? The United Nations. It should go before the United Nations. And when it's considered, it should be publicly broadcasted so the world can see. We need to shut the world down for 40 days and for 40 nights. In that 40 days and 40 nights, the virus has its ability to show its head. You're going to have to make sure you start testing all your emergency people now and isolate them from and make sure they are isolated and protected right now if you are going to use them in the emergency situation you have to make sure they don't have the virus and you have to make sure they don't have the virus now now's the time you start testing all emergency workers and they should be massively self-isolating and extend out the period of time for them get the stores to open a little bit earlier so the emergency service don't have to rush. Rushing people don't think about socialisation. Slow people have time to think. 
give those guys a little bit of extra time and I do not think Australia or the rest of the world will mind that the emergency service, nurses and everybody, all the essential people, get stores opened an hour extra and be still given that free time in the store so that they can get their groceries slowly and calmly. We have to keep those people going. We don't keep those people going. We're all stuffed. But the problem is we have to find the virus. And we have to find every case of the virus. Once more, <clears throat> sorry, I've been talking all day, yelling at dogs and doing other stuff and doing other videos for all my other ch channels and I'm losing my voice. I do apologize. I'm not sick yet. I don't know if I will get sick. I pray that I don't. But we can stop this. We really can. I shouldn't have to be lobbying you, Mr. Morrison. I shouldn't have to be losing my voice from talking to so many people. Because that's why my voice is croaky. And if I have to remove a government, I will. Because you're not doing your job, Mr. Morrison. You are truly not doing your job. You say you've got a plan. Well, why the fuck are you not telling Australia? I've seen your videos, Mr. Morrison. They are the most under informative videos ever and I believe every, when I say this every Australian wants to know what the fuck is the plan tell us you work for us so you've got to turn around and you've got to tell the Australian fucking people because if you keep us in the dark I guarantee you they're all coming after your fucking government as well and you will guarantee you the fucking Liberal Party won't be in power very fucking long you tell the people what the fuck is going on do not keep us in the fucking dark and you should be considering plans like this you should be considering every single fucking idea that comes through those phone lines and emails every idea because among one of them is a solution this could be the solution because it has every single time period accounted for the two stages and we had 10 days for those sick people if we have to extend their quarantines we extend the quarantines for those people but after the 40 days once we know where there's no virus we can slow it down. If you're unsure, check. Make, work out a system to check people out. Because as it goes on, you're going to need more and more emergency people out there. Because this could, as you said, this could go on for six months. But we've got to find the virus first. We've got to stop it in its track, Mr. Morrison. We must stop this virus right on the nose. And I'm talking now to the Queen and to every single government leader out there, to Donald, Mr. Trump. You got my letter. I know you got my letter. So you guys out there need to understand that this is real. You're starting to feel the effects. America thought they had it all sorted, Mr. Morrison. Look at America, now the worst country in the world. It's overtaken the the rates of just doubling and doubling and doubling if we do not stop this virus but to stop the virus we need to find it if we don't find it it's going to get worse and I don't want this winding up like the plague I want my children to fucking live I want more members of my family to live as I said in all my other videos my mother could have been one of the nursing home victims we don't know yet all we're being told is we can't have a funeral. We may not even get to see our mum go off. We don't know yet. This is all up in the dark at the moment. It's been days and we still don't know. We've got a date so far, but we can't see, we can't see mum until the day before. And even at the funeral, there's only going to be a few of us. So yeah, if anybody does pass, guys, I'm really sorry, but that's what you're going to have to expect. It's devastated my family. But we don't know. My sister hasn't gotten back to me because they won't tell me anything. And she still hasn't told me. At first, yeah, mum just died of old age. But when all this stuff starts happening, it makes you wonder. Like, 
a, a massive period of time to wait to bury a person and every every person that passes pretty much is going to go through this so get prepared for that and there are going to be more deaths a lot more deaths especially if we don't fucking do something about it Mr Morrison you should be on the fucking phone to every world leader tomorrow morning or the moment you get this fucking video and yes I'm swearing me fucking head off that's part of my fucking niche on YouTube because yes this video is on fucking YouTube it helps me get subscribers for some unknown reason I do swear a lot it's just why I was raised I'm an Aussie but 16 days 16 nights for cleaning that's what you do. You clean your fucking houses. You clean every fucking surface. Governments go through businesses and fucking disinfect everything while the people are not fucking there. You need to start opening your eyes, Mr. Morrison, because if you don't, I will put the necessary things into power. And if I don't do it before the virus, I guarantee you I will definitely fight my heart out afterwards to remove this government if you do not start acting and telling this country what the fucking plan is. Do not leave your countries uninformed. Tell your fucking people what the fuck is going on. Because at the moment, we've got a before and an after. There's the before. People doubling, and it's doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling. It's getting worse. All your plans aren't fucking working. Listen to this plan. It worked for God. He cleansed this earth of a virus called man. But it's not biblical because it's biblical it's biblical because it's fucking sensible when there's an error and an ad the time for error to make sure that it's happening as you can see the t-shirts has got a few little glitches but I've got to fix that and um, so you go through and you got the after see this will help us reduce the death rate this will help us find where every single case is so that they can be treated isolated properly no more chance of spread that whole household is going to have to be locked down and I truly like I think God foresaw it's all this time coming because he said in the Bible it's, it's the message in the Bible woe to those people who live side by side maybe this is the reason why maybe we are planning our houses the wrong fucking way i.e. putting people in fucking incubators like high-rise buildings or high-rise fucking public housing for fuck's sake go and build small fucking houses far enough apart so that like if this happens people don't get fucking sick again they should be fucking destroyed you've got to ask yourself do you want this shit to keep on going on do you want people to fucking keep on dying but we've got to take our part. And yes, I'm addressing you and the minister and the queen. I'm addressing everybody. Now, the queen can't say this won't affect everybody. She's got it. Prince Charles has got it. They know that this is going to happen. And Mr. Morrison, I guarantee you, the queen will most probably take it very favourably for our side when she finds out that you're not informing the Australian people. You have to wake up to yourself, Mr. Morrison, or I will see that the government is kicked out. I will make sure this government is kicked out. And I will fight my hardest. I will take this government to court just to get you out. And trust me, I'm real good in a courtroom. Very good in a courtroom. You won't be facing some little half ass petty solicitor. You'll be facing me direct. I fight my own battles, Mr. Morrison. Like right now, I'm fighting a battle to tell you to get off your fucking ass and do the job that you are paid to do by us. Now go and do your fucking job or you're going bye-bye. You will not, most probably never, be a politician again if you don't start acting properly. 
and act like a fucking prime minister and protect your fucking citizens and tell your fucking citizens what the fucking plan is. Don't withhold it. Oh, we've got a plan. You don't have a fucking plan. You don't have a fucking clue. You need to be talking to the world leaders about quarantining the world. It will not work if you do not shut everything down at one time. You must stop every single case from going any further than where it has been. You have to stop the flow of mail. That is the first thing that you should be doing now. The moment the borders or the state borders got closed, all mail should have been quarantined. You only need to quarantine the mail for 20 days. Yeah, add an extra five if you want. But quarantine the fucking mail. So what? I've got it. I'm telling people not to fucking send me packages because of this. I don't want any fucking packages turning up fucking here. You've got to ask yourself, do you want to fucking die? Do you want your family to die? Do you want to be one of these poor suckers that can't have all their family at their parents' funeral? Because it's going to happen. And it is happening right now. I'm talking to all the world. If we do not act as one, all the peoples of all, the of all over the country, all the worlds, no matter what fucking where you are, if, what, how, when, I don't care what colour you are. I don't care what fucking speech you have. And please translate this for everybody. But we have to shut the world down for 40 days and 40 nights to isolate the virus. Once we know where it is, we can deal with it much easier than we can now. It's a shit fight out there and I see it on the street. We have people walking around the streets coughing and spluttering. No mask. You need to act. If you do not act, the, this is what's going on. And don't go assuming someone is sick because they're sweating because they got masked up. Double mask. Because when you double the mask and you glove up as well, it gets very fucking hot underneath it. Anybody that's ever done a fucking... Uh, dusty job that's worn one of those little fucking masks knows that you get very fucking hot. But if someone is coughing and fucking sneezing, that person should be fucking isolated immediately. None of this rubbing in his sleeve, stay fucking home. Because we've got to contain it now. The more we stay, okay, we need stuff, yes. But there are ways and means to get stuff delivered even now. Woolworths have done it, apparently. I got texted about it for vulnerable vulnerable people. We can get our stuff sent to us. We've got to start thinking and thinking smart. If we do not think smart, we're just going to die. And this is what I'm asking you to do, Mr. Morrison. Consider this as your first... Oh, not your first step. You've taken the first step. That was actually sensible. Oh, sorry, Queensland took it for it for you, but you need to shut, shut everything down. But Queensland definitely needs to be shut down because that's where all the tourists come to. Any tourist town should be isolated because of all the tourists coming in. But see, the only way we stop it, and you're going to have to see that all the tourists that are over here don't leave so they don't spread. We're going to have to isolate everybody where they are we can't afford the spread of this fucking virus anymore. If you are stuck in a country, you're going to be stuck there for a little while because this is the only way it will work. We must isolate this virus. Businesses and hotels. When this crackdown happens, you are going to have to waive all fees because we're trying to wipe out a fucking virus. And it's the only way to wipe this thing out. We have to isolate everybody we have to make sure that the world survives. No sneaking out, running down the fucking corridors. You stay in fucking side. The government will make sure, and the government better make fucking sure that they fucking feed you. We have to stop the spread of this disease. 
And it is a disease, for folks. And it's a, fair enough, it's man created by some fuckwit in a lab. We And uh, when this is over, let's put a law up that making a virus is a jailable offence. That should be an instant fucking law after this. I'm sick of these fucking viruses because they're not mutated by man. They are mutating because these assholes in the labs want to deliver drugs via way of viruses. This is the problem. They're man fucking made. And this is why I'm standing up and fighting. I'm standing up and fighting for a reason. I believe. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cannabis protester. I protest what I believe is right. I protest because I think it's right. Like I'm protesting for the legalization of recreational cannabis and I don't have to worry about that because I've got medical cannabis. But I believe it is right. And I've always been like that. If I believe something is right, I will fight for it. And out of anything, I believe this is right. I also believe this will work. You think about it. When when Noah made the ark, he planned for 40 days. I didn't put that 10 days on. I didn't even think about calculating them when I added the 10 days. I nearly f- fell over backwards when I saw how many days it was. The thing is, it will work. If God can wipe a a race out and protect a people, protect a family, we can protect our families the same way by small preparations and but this time with help of the government. Make sure that everybody is quarantined for this 40 days. And don't send police out in twos. Yeah, send them out in twos, but in two cars. Protect your people. Mr. Morrison, you haven't even begun to take the steps that you're going to need to take. I'm an educated man, Mr. Morrison. I've been studying for 26 years, multiple subjects. I've got a patent. I gave one invention away to the... Sorry, I've given two inventions away to the public. I know what I'm doing. I research and I look at the problem. I see a problem and I fix it. I've seen the problem. I've seen the gestation period of it. There's 16 days that it can be surviving on a surface, still spreading. But if we clean those surfaces for 16 days whilst we are in quarantine, we're starting to eliminate it. But it's not just one surface. We're going to have to clean every surface that gets touched on a daily basis, non-stop until the virus starts showing its head. Once we know it's starting showing its head, we report it to the government. They make sure that we are looked after. But we can't spread it anymore because we have isolated. This is the concept of isolation. It's to find things. But Mr. Morrison, Queen, Mr. Trump, presidents out there, Kim Jong-un, yeah, you need to kick up the ass, by the way. You need to quarantine your people and do it gently. If you don't quarantine with us, you stand a chance, one, of reinfecting the world, or two, you being reinfected and never getting it out because the way it's spread, Mr. Mr. Ung, I'm saying your name right, Mr. Ung, the moment it is quarantined, it will die. And you know, like, I don't think you want to be responsible for the end of the world. But the thing is, we must stop our mail. The physical package mail, the physical mail, the physical handwritten letters, bills, everything. Anything that is crossing a border to another country must be frozen and quarantined. We have to stop the spread. Why do you think it spread so quick? Because you never thought to quarantine the mail. It's coming from China. It's coming from any infected country. You think about it. What if you've got people that have got the virus that are still handwriting letters and getting someone else to post them? 
Well, they're still sending care packages. Yes, care packages are going to have to be put on hold, folks. The government's going to have to supply those care packages because if we don't get supplied with them, yeah, be a bit balmy. So they're going to have to have a bit of work. People are still going to get to work. You need to mobilise your armies to do this work. You need to mobilise your truck force. You need to start quarantining your truck force right now, making sure they don't have the virus. Sorry, boys, unless unless you have already been cleared, you may need to go into quarantine to protect everybody or don't have contact. Set up a system with the shops where you don't go anywhere near that rear of that trailer. They spray it down with some kind of disinfectant before they open it up. But you need to be quarantined for every single little thing. You Taxis, you should be all fucking wearing masks. Uber drivers, you definitely should be wearing a mask. And you should all be getting temp tested before you start your shifts. Think about it. You don't know whether the next passenger is going to have the virus. And don't know about it. We don't know where the virus is because we haven't quarantined properly. In a hospital, when a hospital quarantines you, you go straight down into lockdown. I've already been through it. Whilst I was waiting on my test results, went to the hospital because my temps were high because I, at the time, my foot was infected. Still infected, still giving me temps. But the thing is, I was isolated so quickly, it was beyond a joke. They, they washed the dunny after I used it. That's how you quarantine a virus. But the problem is, when you've got a pandemic, if you don't quarantine everybody, you're not going to know where the fuck the virus is. At least with a 40 day, 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah, just let's make it biblical for the fun of it. Let's find this virus. Let's stop this virus. Let's heal the sick. Because at the moment, you've got everybody panicking. Oh, I've got the virus. I've got to go and get checked out. Yes, that's still going to happen. But if we're isolated, we're going to be able to control them not going into lines and, oh, India, for fuck's sake, you need the biggest kick up the ass of all. I watched a video today of all the people lining up to be checked. They are chest to back, chest to back, each one having a hand on the other one's shoulder as if they were told to do it that way. You never know, this could be part of Agenda 21. Never know. Throw on that one, Biddy. Yes, I believe in Agenda 21. I know what the fuckers are up to. It's a United Nations document. Agenda 21. You want to look it up? Scare the fuck out of you. But when it comes to taking measures to quarantine your people, it makes me wonder, Mr. Morrison, are you in on it? Because you're not doing fucking anything. That's why I'm here doing what I'm doing. Calling you out. You need to start telling tomorrow. If I don't hear the plan on that fucking TV and on the internet, and just in case I'm not a, on the TV, just as it comes on the, the thing, you want to make sure that that plan goes out and goes out regularly. Make sure it gets broadcast 20, 30 times a day. Put YouTube ads up so people that watch YouTube get to see it. Put them, on, put them on Twitch. Put them on everything. Look at all the platforms that people use. There's lots of them. All you've got to do, you want to find most of them, go to Restream and look at all their different platforms. Go to all those platforms. Make sure that they all get ads on them about what the plan is. Australia's need to know. The world needs to know that we need to quarantine this. Why do you think I'm broadcasting to 30 channels? That's why I use Restream. I can broadcast to so many people. And you have to ask yourself, what, is, what in the hell is going on? And sorry about the work. As you can see, I've got a bit of a glitch with one of the things. And, um, but the thing is, we need, truly need to quarantine, folks. We can't do anything about it. 
We need to quarantine. This is playing up something shocking. There we go. It's actually better. Because if we don't, that death toll is going to keep on rising and rising and rising. So let's save the world. Let's save Earth. We will survive. Oh, so that's one of the problems we've got to put. We I'll put it backwards. I think my friend actually um, might have originally done that. I sent it to him and he sent me the file back and I think he's messed with it. But the thing is, yeah, you can, he's definitely messed with this. I know he has. We can actually stop this from happening, folks. We really can. We've just got to turn around and we can make the death. No more death after we go there. But you're not gonna you're not gonna get anywhere if you don't stop the flow of the virus. But to stop the flow of the virus, you've got to know where the fuck it is. If you don't know where the fuck this is, we're screwed. We're absolutely screwed. If we don't know where the fuck this is, we are dead set screwed. We have to know where this virus is to stop it. 40 days inside your yards. Don't leave your properties. It's easy. Oh, I've been disabled most of my life. There's times when I'm actually quarantined. Well, not quarantined, but I'd say inside because I can't get outside. My health is so bad. I've got to have a regulated temperature through my home. It cost me 10,000 bucks for the roller shutters to stop the heat variances. But we have to stop the virus. If we don't stop things, they're just going to keep on happening. Oh, yeah, good example. I spent 10 grand on roller shutters to stop heat variances so that my air conditioner didn't have to work overwork itself to keep me in a constant temperature. But if you don't find the problem, how the fuck are you going to fix it? So you guys are out there trying to look good, but you just don't have a clue. Saying you've got a plan and not telling people what the plan is, is not a plan. That's, oh, we've got a plan. We don't have a clue. We know the fuck you don't have a clue. Why don't you look at some of the fucking options? They might actually be quite good and combine all of them. But this is the start. This will find the virus. This will find the virus. It'll take 40 days, 40 nights, general lockdown. And when you start getting healthy people, you get them in getting the system back up again. You've got to open your eyes. And I'm talking to all the world leaders right now. You must open your eyes. Yeah, shutting the world down. What? We're all going to have a 40-day holiday at the worst. No one works. No one's getting paid. People are going to have to take things. I've shut my business down. I've, I had a, I've got a billion-dollar idea. I've just had to shut down going out to the world. But everybody's got to take these cuts. Everybody, every business owner has to wear these as well. We can't just expect our staff to wear it. We've got to take some responsibility ourselves. We all have to take responsibility. See, a pandemic is caused by one thing. No one gives a fuck. No one thinks about the spread of jazz. No one thinks about anybody. I'm just cold. <laughs> then the poor three people you've just coughed all over have now got it. Now, this can happen with the coronavirus. Mate, if I catch anybody out in the street now coughing their guts up, I'm going to be calling the cops. And I advise everybody to do the same thing. If they're coughing their guts up, yeah, the police need to be called. We've got to get them into isolation before they infect you and everybody else. We, the people of the world, have to take these steps. The government can do so much. And we have to be willing to go into this quarantine because it has to happen because we'll never find the virus and it's going to keep on spreading and you are going to lose your parents too. Trust me, it fucking hurts to lose your mum. It hurts the most. I lost my dad 
I thought, shit, the old bastard was in a lot of pain. Maybe he was better. But me mum, I knew she, like, she was still there right up until the very end. She was still mum. And then got taken. And I don't want anybody to go through that. That's why I'm trying to fucking do the, do the best I can. I'm trying to stop this from happening. I'm trying to make people realise that this can find the virus at minimum. At minimum, Mr. Morrison, this will find the virus, start spreading it to the world. Sorry, I'm just going to swap screens for a brief moment. And I'm just going to put you on a different screen. I'll put you on my Halloween screen. I've just got to do something right now. I'll let me sec. And we can actually stop this virus. We really, truly can, people. We can stop it. We can stop it. But if we don't, we will never, ever fix it. Yeah, the bloody mate. He messed with the image, the cheeky bug. Eh? I've got the original ones, okay. So we've got to ask ourselves, can we stop this virus? See, but to stop it, we have to find it. And if we don't find it, we're... No other word. We can kiss our asses goodbye, pretty much. Because I don't want any of you to lose a child. I haven't lost a child yet, but I've lost a mother. So you have to ask yourself, do you want it happening to you? The Queen now knows that it can affect her. You think about it. Government leaders should stop all physical communication, you need to get onto Uber Conference and use Uber Conference and have your meetings on Uber Conference or whatever little secret spy program you've got to talk to world leaders. Use that. But talk to each other. Quarantine the world because if we don't quarantine it for 40 days, and it must truly be a global event, this must be the biggest event the world has ever seen. Our children's 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 children will talk about this event. But they'll talk about it in two ways. Did they try to stop it properly? Or did they just ignore it and try half ass measures? You've been given a possible solution to the problem. And I bet you we identify in that time, I bet you we are able to identify where every sick person is and get them treated, get them isolated. You, if In that case, we may have to have isolation set up so that the families can be separated and kept in the house, but the sick person can be taken to hospital, looked after, stuck on ventilators or whatever that person needs. And it, that, is, that is happening. That part, I can see it happening. That's the doctors and nurses doing it for you. But the problem is, we have to stop this virus. You need to go to your world leaders and say, we need a 40-day worldwide quarantine and quarantine our mail. It can live for 16 days. You've got packers in China, they're sick, they don't know they're sick yet, they're still working. This is where the virus came from and 99% of online shopping is sent from China. This is what people have to realise. We have to stop it. We have to tell them to quarantine our mail. We have to stop the post. We have to stop using parcel post till this is over. See, the governments are... At first, our governments would... And Mr Morrison, that was the stupidest thing you've ever said. I lost all respect to you. Oh, you don't need to wear a mask. Fucking hell, go to WHO's website or give one of them a fucking ring. They'll give you a lecture, Mr. Morris, if they fucking heard what you said. So you've got to ask yourself, Mr. Morrison, do you want to be the man that killed Australia and known as the man that killed Australia, the man that got kicked out because he didn't act when he should? 
and he acted the wrong way. He's doing half-assed measures. He withheld the truth from his people during a massive epidemic. People need to know, Mr. Morrison. You can't hide this. It's happening, whether you like it or fucking not. You need to keep your fucking public informed. If you really have a plan, fucking tell us. Tell us what your plan is. This is mine, Mr. Morrison, and it will fucking work. There's a 16-day period where it can still live on a surface. In other words, it can infect people. This is why there is a 10-day buffer. Because if someone contracts it at the very end, there's still time to isolate them. And if you're worried about them, you keep that isolation going for that household. You do a slow release of people and get them into work, the essential things, food production. You've got to think about everything, Mr. Morrison. You've absolutely got to think about everything. And I'm sorry, folks, that I'm not responding to the chat. I cannot even see it at the moment. I've got a written document that I'm going by, so I apologise. I don't look at the chat when I'm going by this. I just see there's a lot of chat, and I'm really sorry that I'm not chatting. But I've got to get this message across. Sorry, my voice is so shot from talking and lobbying that it's just shot. I've spoken to so many people today and yesterday. It's, I've done nothing but talk. This is what I'm good at. This is why I'm good as a promotional person. I'm good at talking. I know how to talk my way out of a wet paper bag. I know how to talk in a court. I just tell the truth. In a court, always tell the truth. You've got a better chance of winning. Or getting what you need. But if we don't do this, we are going to die. We will die. More people will die. The death toll is doubling and doubling so fast that you don't know what the fuck's going on. Because you don't know where it's really coming from. It's coming through the fucking post. Open your eyes and open your ears. Open your fucking ears, Mr. Morrison. And Mr. Trump, open your ears. It's coming through the post. Because China can get items to you in four days now. They charge you more money for a fucking... You're buying a... What, in China, you'd buy it for five bucks, most probably in China. So they get on eBay and they sell it for fucking $58. They're paying shit money for post. And they're sell, sending it to a guy in Australia who's gone and bought a fucking con note. You've been told the package is coming from Sydney. It's not coming from Sydney. They've just done it to me. Four people have done it to me. I've managed to cancel two orders, but two still refuse to cancel the order. I think they're actually the same factory. I've told them, and if I get another package, I'll make sure that person is actually charged with attempted murder because I am a vulnerable citizen. And they want to send me a package that has come from China where this virus started. They're still working in their factories. They're still working in their post offices. They may not know they're sick yet. And it lives for 16 days on a surface. It's meantime, and for those who don't know what the meantime, that's the most dangerous part. That's when it's definitely a fit. Like, you touch it, you've got it. That's what the meantime is. But it still can live, and that's halfway point. That's, I don't know why, and as I said in the last video, to this day, I don't know why they do it with radio, radio, radiation. The half-life. So it's called the meantime when it comes to something like this. Different name. We should still be called the half-life. It's half-life is eight days. So it's real life is 16 days that you still can get the virus from. And 14 days if you get sick, you start showing symptoms within five to six days, it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. This is why we need to go into a global lockdown to find this virus. I've got, to tell you, I've got to get new antibiotics. I ran out and I can't see the doctor until Monday. 
And bloody foot's getting worse. But if we don't self-isolate and we don't work with our governments, we're going to fucking die. Sorry, just taking a bit of medicine. No. Tastes like shit, but it does the job. That's, that's cannabis oil, by the way. It does fucking work. It actually really works. Gets rid of pain. Gets rid of swelling. Even I use a bone oil. They gave me a bone oil to try. Rub it into my knee. I only need a drop. And the swelling goes down. It's amazing stuff. It's made with cannabis. Why I, why I fight with cannabis, Mr. Morrison. Fight for cannabis, sorry. And... I've added the 10 days as a buffer. Everything needs a buffer, especially something like this. So you've got the, the infection rate on a surface, and if we're cleaning those surfaces constantly, and the person, someone's collected it off there, we've caught the virus in that household. We know where that household is. We can start isolating that household a bit better we can make sure that each person is isolated. Have one person responsible for cooking food. If that person gets sick, yeah, they, they're not to cook food anymore. You have to think about all these possible things. But when we're in quarantine, this is where I'm calling upon you. You have to be a cleaner. You have to be a cook. You have to be everything, but most a cleaner. Every surface is going to have to be cleaned every day. Every fucking day. For 40 days. Mr. Morrison and world leaders, you're going to have to make sure there's enough disinfectants or bleach to clean stuff. Because certain items you still can clean with bleach. Certain items you can clean with stuff, but um, I reckon they should be telling us what sort of fucking disinfectant we should be using to clean our homes with. It's hard to fucking buy it on the shelf. Make sure those shelves get fucking filled up. That's the first thing you should be doing. And tell the supermarkets to amp up their fucking deliveries to the store. Double their daily deliveries. Double them. And the suppliers need to double their deliveries to Woolworths to make sure that the items are running out. What you need to do, Woolworths, is double order because you know the moment they hit those fucking shelves, they're going to go fucking empty. Because even with your so-called rationing, they're still going. You have to ask yourselves, what the fuck can we do to help? Everybody can help. And yes, I know that ideas pour into the Prime Minister's office on a daily basis. But this one is a good one. I'm not saying it because God did it. Yeah, I'm a Christian, so fuck I'm what? But I'm also an inventor, a smart fucking inventor. For fuck's sake, I built an aircraft that can go in and out of the atmosphere at as low a speed as five kilometres. All the small test craft flew. It's a dirigible. Just got a different shape. Shaped like a flying saucer. See, we made a mistake with man in with our flight. When the Hindenburg happened, we stopped researching it. I kept on researching it. And worked out the shape is perfect for re-entry. The weight of the craft is so light that it can re-enter the atmosphere at 5k per hour. I'm not afraid to tell people, Mr. Morrison and the world, Mr. Trump, because I've already given it free to the public. So that all you smart people out there can start fucking building them. Well, help, but at the moment, trust me, if there's another race out there and they find out about this fucking virus, which I guarantee they'd want monitor our things, they'd be quarantining the outside of this fucking world if they do exist. <clears throat> but the thing is, if we don't quarantine, we're not going to find it. We've got to do this just to find the virus. If we don't do it, we're never going to stop COVID-19. We've got to, after this, we're going to have to set laws for people with colds. You're going to have to set a law to stop people going to school and to work when they have a cold. They make it so they can get charged because they're possible causing a new pandemic because that's how this started. One person said, oh, it's just a cold. <laughs> don't worry about it. <coughs> 
bang, next person. They say, oh, it's just a cold, don't worry about it. <coughs> Those four people then go out, talk to people. Maybe they've gone to a party, they've gone to a wedding, and they all know the same person. Those four people combined have just spread it to 500 people. <coughs> all over the place. Oh, here you go. <coughs> don't worry, it's just a cold, just a cold, don't worry about it. <coughs> We have to start thinking about this in the future. This is how pandemics happen, because we, the people, are ignorant. And yes, our politicians are still people, unfortunately. And if we don't start acting like humans, it could destroy our world. It really could destroy our world. Or wipe all the people out. Oh, that's... Yeah, you should go, what's that show called? Um... Oh, it's about when all the people die. What's life, oh, life after people? Life after people. Go and watch that. Maybe that's where we're fucking heading because if we don't do this, that's where we could be heading. To a stage where there are no people. Because we've all dropped dead from the coronavirus because we weren't smart enough to quarantine for 40 days and for 40 nights. There must be something about the number because God knew about it. God worked out how to get rid of all humans, flood the world, 40 days, 40 nights, kept one family alive to keep the genome going. But it's not really just Noah. So that story goes through the Anunnaki and many other cultures. The flood happened. We know it happened. So there must be a God because everybody's talking about it in every one of those languages. Everybody's God was the cause of the flood. Personally, I reckon just a giant fucking planet in Australia because you look at the shape, shape of Australia, the east coast of Australia looks like a giant crater. Sorry, I'm just having a rest. Because I've been talking all day, all day long, because I'm trying to save the fucking world. I believe that we have a right to live. And we do have a right to live. We have the right to turn around and stop ourselves from dying. If we don't stop ourselves from dying, we're going to die. Look at the young. There's now young people dying. We have to stop it in its tracks. It's got to stop forever. Oh, that's one of the um, that's one of the catchphrases of the ZS. Yeah, I'll use it. I'm allowed to use it. We've got to stop it in its tracks. If we don't stop it in its tracks. We're going to die. As I said, my mum could be the vic victim of this thing. We don't know yet. We haven't heard back. So you just ask yourselves, do you want that newborn die baby dying? Oh, okay. Newborn mum. Mums with newborns. Don't take your newborns out in public. I saw a young girl there. And I, she had a newborn with her. In a public situation where the possible coronavirus could be. Taking a newborn out? Oh, I don't have anybody to look after her. Well, stay the fuck home. Stay the fuck home. That's a newborn. No protection? Fuck me. You need to kick up the ass. And I think that lady, if that lady ever watches this video, she knows exactly who I am. Told her she should have been ashamed of herself. You make sure that you get what you need. You, there's places like Red Cross. Give Red Cross a ring. Trust me, they're great. They ring me every day to make sure I'm still alive. I don't know how long I've got on the face of this globe. I hope it's a long time. But the problem is, at the moment, I don't know. I'm crook. Real crook. Got a liver that's playing up. Got kidneys that are playing up. Got a spleen that's playing up. My liver's blowing up. Yeah, I'm not a well man. But I don't want to be taken out by a fucking virus. And if this government doesn't stop the flow of mail now, we're dead. This could be a weapon. And I'm honestly saying this, Mr. Morrison and Trump and all those world leaders. This could be a fucking weapon. And eBay and all the webs all these dropshipping companies could quite easily be used as the gun barrel. The bullet is the post itself, the parcel. They know, uh, like, I thought it was strange that it got here so fast after they said, oh, it's caught in the post and it's coming from China. 
but it got here so fucking quick. That's why I didn't know what the fuck it was. I thought it was still coming. Because... But they had it here so fucking quick, it was beyond a joke. So in other words, it came from fucking China. And if you saw the steps I had to take to open it and clean it, you'd be amazed. I sat here sweating me guts up for two and a half hours using those extender prongs to move it around, open it with, and everything. Luckily, I've got two pairs. That's how I pick up all my rubbish around the house with two of those things. But it was easy. I was able to unwrap it. These things have got... I've sort of made a few mods to them, and they work better. And I opened the parcel up, cleaned it, used a rag on the end of the thing, cleaned it. <laughs> that rag's now in the bin, by the way. Used up... I'd say about half my bottle of um, hand sanitizer, cleaning it. Cleaned the surface as best I could, and then I stuck it into quarantine. Because I didn't go any further than the bottle. Once I saw what it was, I said, no, nah, that's it. Disinfecting the outside, and it's going into quarantine. Problem is, I've got another one coming. Because when the first one didn't show up, I bought another one and then hit, hit them up for a refund. And I should still be entitled to that fucking refund because I'm going to dispose of that fucking item. And I am waiting for a refund just, if they, just in case they want the item back. But I won't send it back by the post. post. I'll deliver it by hand with a policeman beside me to arrest you. If you don't think I'll do it, I'll fucking do it. Look at this video. That tells you I'll do it. And I make sure this dude receives every one of my videos to let him know that I'm coming after him. And trust me, I will. I'll take him to court. I'll sue him personally. But I'll also see him charged. Because this man could have endangered my life. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm still actually I'm ranging somebody else and I'm trying to get a bit more advice on it. But see, the death toll's going to keep on rising. It's going to keep on rising. It's going to keep on rising. And it's going to double. And it's going to get worse. Look how quickly America got infected and Trump took measures. Not very many. Oh, that sounds like Australia. Not very fucking many. This is why people are saying it could be part of Agenda 21. Because you're not taking any measures. This is why I'm telling them to take fucking measures. And if Scott Morrison doesn't get off his ass and take measures, i.e. start something like a 40-day crackdown, but not you can't just do it in Australia, Mr Morrison. You've got to do this all over the globe. You've got to shut every possible form of transport. Ships are going to have to be given safe harbour, but those people are going to have to, unfortunately, be quarantined to ships. Aircraft, mate, I reckon aircraft should be shut down right now. Shut them down right now, for fuck's sake. If you're in a country, stuck in a country. Sorry, that's the way it should be. Governments are going to have to start looking after foreign citizens that are stuck here because of the, the shutdown. Then we have to work a way to get everybody, including the homeless, into some kind of isolation. We don't want the homeless running around the streets. And I'm not saying we should just go and rip them off the streets. We need to put them into decent care. We need to make sure, I don't care whether you've got to open up old warehouses that don't have anybody in them. Make sure that you build fucking quarantine sections. And quarantine people. Put them in tents. Give everybody a tent. Make sure they don't leave the tent. Put the tents fucking 100 feet away from each other in a paddock if you have to. But make sure that, that at least quarantine. Make sure they're fed. There's different ways you can do everything, but we've got a quarantine. You don't go locking them up in jails where they're going to be put fucking side by side. You tell them the reason why they're being quarantined. You make sure those areas are patrol. You might need mental health nurses involved in the quarantining of those sort of people, but it's going to have to be done. Those... Homeless are just as fragile as someone like me. 
because they're not getting all the vitamins and minerals. Street kids are going to have to be helped a bit more. This has to be truly the biggest thing. We're going to have to identify every vulnerable person out there. And I'm talking about the homeless. I'm talking every country. Hawaii. Yes, I've been to a Hawaii. So-called beautiful place until you start going down into the local areas and you see the homeless on the street. Or you go down the beach and you see the homeless on the beach and on the street. Hawaii, you need a kick up the ass. Fucking hell. You have to think about the quarantine. You may have to get hotels to give up rooms to put your homeless in during the quarantine. And I'm telling every hotel in Australia that you should be feeding these people as well. And I'm telling everybody around the world you should put the homeless in the hotels and feed them. You're going to be able to give people work by getting them to be the people working out. You know, okay, your room service is going to go to shit. They're, not, they're going to have to look after the room and look after it, make them look after it going to have to make sure they get fed. Yeah, they're going to have a 40-day holiday in a nice hotel. The only difference is they've got to get stuck in the room. Trust me, a homeless person won't mind 40 days in a nice hotel room. They get to have a nice hot shower, a nice bed to lay down in. We've got to think about doing this, but hotels got to wear this. We've all got to wear it. We've all got to wear the things that the businesses like myself, I've got a billion idea and all I want to do is get it out there on the market and finally get off a pension. Because I've done this on the pension. I've got it to where it is on the pension. I've made sure I did it on my own. But the thing is, at the moment, I've had to turn around and say, okay, maybe we better hold back. Maybe we better do this. And I've had to give up the chance. I could have been a millionaire, and trust me, I've worked it out, I could have been a millionaire by now, making more stock to become a bigger billion, millionaire than to make enough stock to be a, become a billionaire. I'm doing it on my own. But at the moment, I've had to put that on hold. Everybody's got to make sacrifices. Yes, everybody's out of work, and you need work while we're in the basic stages, and it's going to get worse. It's going to most probably take six months, but first we've got to find the virus. If we don't do a global lockdown, we're never going to know. And people are just going to keep on getting sick. And it's just, and then Australia is going to be one of the worst affected countries. I'm waiting for Australia's death toll to go up. Oh shit, if Australia's death toll goes up, fuck, we could get wiped out. I'm telling people in isolated areas, don't come into the fucking city. It's in the cities, for fuck's sake. Stay where you are. You need to quarantine yourselves. You need to quarantine your towns. Anybody going through your town, give them an ex escort. If they need petrol, make sure they get petrol. But it should only be for essential travel out there, especially. It should only be for essential travel. You're going to have to make sure that farmers in those remote areas get enough food, you may have to bring in airdropping again. This is going to have to be a military style operation because we're going to need our borders protected from boat people whilst we shut down. You're definitely going to have to bolster the borders during a crackdown. Everybody's going to have to bolster their borders. So yes, the military, and I have to say it, unfortunately, my son's going to be involved when it happens. He's actually um, in, yeah, they quarantined him. He went to work and they quarantined him out of town. So now he got tested because they have to test him pretty quick. But he's still in two week lockdown. So that maybe they're just a bit unsure because it can take two weeks. He hasn't been in two weeks yet. So they've got him in lockdown. So you've got to ask yourself, Mr. Morrison, do you want to be known as the man that let Australia die? Or the man that pretty much was kicked out like Gough Whitlam? 
I'm a fair man. I just want a, I just want a fucking leader that does his fucking job properly. That's all I fucking want. Because I want a leader that does his job properly. And the only way to do your job properly is first find this virus. Let's isolate the world. Make sure there's enough feet food out there. Make sure you fill those supermarkets to the brim with double loads so that we can get the food that we need. Make sure that every benefit person has enough money to buy 40 days worth of food. Use the supermarkets as the distribution point. And for fuck's sake, let them choose their food. If you want, set up a ration book saying, okay, work out how many, what food is needed to last for 40 days. Okay, you'd need so many vegetables, you need so much meat, you need this, you need that, you need that. And have some kind of ration book for that period. They go in, they go in with that ration book, and in that grouping, they're allowed to choose so many foods from that grouping, so many foods from that grouping. And if they run out on a day, then they have to shut down the store until the second load gets in there that day and have extra workers making sure that loads and you can still fill up the shelves. You might have to shut the store down for fucking two hours to fill the shelves up again. There should be two loads coming into supermarkets every day. Supermarkets need more truck drivers. Factory needs more truck drivers. And I'm telling Coles and Woolworths and all those supermarket chains out there, Start getting products in from suppliers that have been trying to sell you their product for ages. We can stop this. But if we don't isolate globally for 40 days, we are still going to have the virus running around, especially if the postal system has not been stopped and quarantined. And when I say stopped, I mean... Stop. If a mail is on a ship, leave it on a fucking ship. If it comes in on a plane, put it in a fucking isolation at customs. And once you've shut down the mail system in any possible way that it comes in, ships are going to have to be quarantined in harbours. Guards put on duty to make sure no one's jumping off the thing. Because you only need one guard to make sure no one's getting off the boat. Maybe have extra water police or hire some people with boats that can drive around the harbour and patrol and split your police, water police up in three, four boats. Uh, fair enough, you might have had to um, get people to help or you might have to organise extra boats. Hire the boats. Get extra police on the streets. You've already started to do that. I do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the police being put out on the streets. It's good to see a police car patrolling around near my home. I love it. Man, I've had so much. <laughs> I try to get a patrol here sometimes. It takes fucking 40 minutes to get a patrol out here sometimes. But, yeah, I saw a police car drive down my street. I see him quite a lot, actually. Yeah, we've got a... Sorry. I don't... I couldn't say we've got a problem neighbour now, but we used to have a problem neighbour, so we used to see the police a lot. But it's been good. I hadn't seen one in a while. It was actually very nice to see a police car. And I smile. I'd give him a wave if I'd seen him coming, but I just saw him go past. And if you're a police officer, man, you're doing a great job. You always do a great job. I've got three cousins in the police force. I've got family in the military. I used to be in the emergency service myself. I wish I could be there now, but unfortunately my illness has affected me for some time. I'm still officially on medical leave. But this is life at the moment for me, and it's this is life for you. And yes, you're going to go stir crazy. Now, um, I'm telling the government right now, you need to make sure that there's an ample supply of salt tablets to every single chemist. Because the simple thing, when you're in, a, if, especially if prolonged, very prolonged, like six months isolation is needed, those people are going to need salt tablets. How do I know? Because the vitamin D, and they're going to need vitamin D as well. The vitamin D deficiency kicks in. And when that kicks in, for some unknown reason, it affects your, your salt levels. 
and you can sweat a lot when you're stuck in a house and then what happens you get cramps trust me when you're in isolation you need salt tablets especially if you're sick and ill we already know that or if you don't have salt tablets you need one third of a teaspoon of salt and you've got to mix it with water or you've got to drink it or you've got to take it that's you need to replenish the salts in your body and that's just what isolation does to you it affects the muscles so you've got to give it the salts that it needs to regenerate because it uses salt to regenerate because every time I have salt uh, you don't overdo the salt because that'll affect your heart So that's something else you've got to think about. But there's many little problems out there, Mr. Morrison. And I don't know I've told your staff about, no, not your staff, I've told Mr. Hunt's staff about some, I've told your office about some. But they do exist. But if you guys don't start doing it, this is all that is going to happen. The death toll is going to rise. But if you do something, sorry, if you do something, at the end of it, the death toll is going to start lowering eventually. Because if we can isolate the virus, we can find the virus, we can isolate it more. But to do it, it's got to be global. You have to get every world leader. And it doesn't matter what country, whether it's third world, second world, first world, every country needs to be told. You leave alone those isolated areas. You just go nowhere near those isolated tribes because they're isolated and they're most probably the safest people in the world right now. If anything, those people could, might be the only ones that get through a pandemic. Unless some fuckwit walks into their tribe while they've got a cold. It's how many tribes died. The, the viruses from the white community got spread. This time it was a virus caused in a lab in China. Spread. This is what I mean. The manufacture of new viruses should be barred forever. No more fucking with viruses. For fuck's sake, there's many other things to, to do. Learn about the plants. Learn about different things. But stop fucking with viruses. If you find them, just try and kill them, but without making a new virus. Just study how long that, say, bleach takes to kill a virus. Find out how long it takes for alcohol to kill a virus. That's what you should be studying about viruses, not to work out how to deliver a virus. So you use a virus to deliver a drug. That's fucking stupid. That is so fucking stupid. See, mankind didn't get smarter. Mankind actually got actually got dumber over the last few hundred years. Mankind was very smart once upon a time. But then, they let their egos and greed go and ruin fucking everything. So, the only way to stop it is a global lockdown to stop the COVID-19 virus. 40 days and 40 nights. Let's save the Earth. And it's supposed to say, will we survive? 16 days for services, 14 days for victims, 10 days as a buffer at the end to make sure that nobody has still got the virus. And you're going to have to make more tests. You're going to have to make, make sure the manufacturer of the tests cover enough. And eventually you're going to have to check everybody. You can't just check this person, that person, you've got to test people and retest people, so you've got to make a lot of these fucking tests. So you've got to make sure you've got what is needed to be open, you've got to make sure the staff of that people are kept safe. You're going to have the logistical nightmare out there. But if you don't do it, you've got to remember, the Queen's caught it, you might catch it next, Mr. Morrison, or your children might. And trust me, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, Mr. Morrison. 
I pray that your children and your family make it through this because you've got to realize think about the Queen and her son both have COVID-19 they could die we'd lose a queen or we'd lose a possible king I don't want, I wouldn't wish that on your family Mr Morrison but I'm saying if you don't start acting and start acting fucking now it could happen we've already got children with COVID-19 and I guarantee you I know that you don't want your because I know what it's like Mr Morrison because I've got kids as well I don't want my children to get sick I don't want your children to get sick I'm trying to stop it Mr Morrison please listen to my advice I'm a smart fucking man I've researched it I've used WHO evidence and all I've done is I I'm also love math I've added it up came to 40 days because I always add about a 30% buffer and adding that buffer is there in case of a mistake. Like I might just put that bit extra of something for strength or I went that 30% bigger for thing. Like with the ZS, I went 100% better for the product. I went for the best of the best that I could find. Unlike most manufacturers, don't give a fuck. Well, I do because I want to be known as the man that made a product that was guaranteed for hundreds of years. And I will be known as the man that invented a product that's guaranteed for hundreds of years. But it's only guaranteed for the life of the product that you put it on. So if you put it on something, it's guaranteed for that period of time that that product lives, i.e. works, or is used. That product that I'm selling will be guaranteed but if we don't start waking up to ourselves Mr Morrison you could be doing what I'm doing limited number of family members dead immediate family only the grandkids have got to stand outside apart from each other they can't even see the funeral we've got to sit at certain spots within the church we may not even be able to see our mum before it. We don't know yet. Because there's still talk that they're gonna quarant the the body's going to be burned. And I wouldn't wish that on you, Mr. Morrison. Why do you think I am so passionate about this? I've gone from one lobbying one thing to now having to threaten a government of their removal if they don't start acting and start acting sensibly and not just saying we've got a plan. I want to hear that fucking plan, Mr. Morrison. And I believe every other Australian wants to hear that plan tomorrow. If I don't hear it tomorrow, I'll start. And uh, trust me, I've already got one of the letters almost written. As I said, I'm going to be using in the video to the Queen. In fact, I'm going to use both the letters in the video to the Queen. I won't be physically posting the letters. I will be photocopying the letters and I'll be sending them via email so you still can write your letters folks hand write them nice and neat you just scan them and email them and that's how the postal system should be working now and the governments are going to have to make sure that every vulnerable family has access to the internet so that they can communicate with the world during the lockdown because if you don't isolate them and give them a form of like contact that's when you start risking breaches and yes there are going to be breaches you are going to get those idiot kids that think oh no we're going to be all right we're going we're going to do this while it's all thing no we'll be right but they're spreading the fucking virus the lockdown has to be serious every man woman and child on the face of this planet are the eyes and ears to make sure that no one breaks quarantine. The quarantine is for our life safety. Because if we don't start looking after our own safety, we could be the next victim that dies. Yes, I tested negative on the test. 
whilst I had all the symptoms from my foot. But I still can catch it. You can catch it. You all have to wake up. Earth needs to be globally locked down to stop the COVID-19. COVID I'm also very tired. For 40 days and for 40 nights, let's say first, say Earth. Will we survive? But I think we will survive. We need 16 days for the surfaces, 14 days for the victims, and we need 10 days as a buffer to make sure they're okay. Yeah, it's easy. 40 days in a house, trust me, it's nothing. You get to do like, lots of gaming, uh, things like that. Oh, and okay, you need to shut down the online gaming during this crisis so that people don't lose their shirts whilst this is on. I saw, I've, all I've seen is ads for online, ga online fucking betting, online this, online that and the online betting has to stop during this crisis because you're going to have too many people at home so much time on, time on their hands they've got stimulus oh, I just spend $20 of it and then that $20 turns into $100 you need to stop online gambling during this crisis we need to stop a lot of things but that one I don't want to see anybody losing their shirt I don't trust any online gambling setup not one but if we work together and we do what we're supposed to do i.e. stay in quarantine yes we should be allowed to go out into our yards and tend our gardens because trust me you want to have a garden just in case this turns into a six month event because once this starts now if you don't have veg grow micro crop got a couple of packets of sprouts from the store yeah you can actually buy seeds online but microgreens will like fast crop a couple of days like if you like sprouts but you might not like sprouts so you're going to need a winter garden so you've got cabbage and broccoli and collie and all the winter stock I bought a packet of each today so I've got me winter crop. I've finally got the insurance company to settle up on the machinery that was damaged in the big storm so that I can go out and buy a new one so that I've got one to actually churn my yard, making sure that I'm able to go out there and turn over soil because I can't do it without this machine because I'm too weak. I can push the machine because it, you don't need to push it. It actually pulls itself. So all I'm doing is steering the mud monkey. And I'm going to be able to plant crops, so I'm right for the extended period even. See, I thought about a lot of this thing. All I did today was just buy fresh seeds, just in case the old ones, because I've had the seeds sitting up top for quite some time. And seeds can last for many, many years. We've got a seed bank. Oh, they must last for many years. You've just got to keep them in the right temperature, which I've always done. But if we don't start acting people... We're going to see a lot more death in our families. And as I said, I wouldn't wish that on any of you. Especially if it's your mum that you lose. It hurts. Because everybody's mum is their best friend. They're real. And it's true. Everybody's real best friend is their own mum. And you don't want to lose her. Trust me. It was devastating when she had her first stroke. I lost my best friend, I couldn't talk to her anymore. That's all I ever did. I used to drive, shit, 30 kilometers daily just to pop in and see mum while dad was at work. But me and my stepdad didn't get along, so I used to drive over here through the day. Then mum moved away, they moved up country. Lost my friend there, and then all of a sudden she had a stroke and I couldn't talk to her anymore. And then now she's dead. I've lost my best friend. And seriously, your mum is your best friend. Your kids are your best friends. And you don't want to see them dying. So we've got to quarantine for 40 days. Yes, you're going to get a little bit of cabin fever, but how do you stop cam cabin fever? Turn on the fucking TV. We're, we're all going to get a 40-day fucking holiday. Yippee! 
yeah, we're locked down. So fucking what? Man, I can do so much. I've got so much work. Well, today, I actually, what did I do today? Even though I'm not locked down, but I'm not going out as much. I'm doing the stuff that I normally do, i.e. running around trying to get my product on the line, on the market. So I've taken this time to actually do some work in my shed. I actually cleared up the floor of my shed and I've still got three shelves left. And I even took stuff from the laundry. I took stuff from the front room, stuck that out there. And now I realise, shit, I can put stuff from this other room in there too. And then I can move stuff around. And I've got more shelves and I can put them up. And then the stuff that I want stored inside can be stored better. By the end of the day, on Sunday, I plan to have every single one of those six shelves set up. They're big too. They're two metres by... 60 by 1.8 so they're 1.8 high no they're two no they're 2.4 no no 2.2 or 2.2 2.4 can't remember they're, they're pretty tall ones trust me i had to get a ladder to put the top bars on today and put the top shelf on i'm gonna have more done so you can live through this folks it's easy you don't have to go stir crazy. How many of you husbands out there have got a list of fucking work the wife has given you? <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a wife anymore. <laughs> I don't get those lists anymore. But how many of you got that list from the wife? Oh, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Man, you're going to want to do the work just to get away from the craziness. So there's going to be plenty of things you can do, everybody. And if you don't, believe that you can get through it there's plenty of like helplines out there they're going to be overrun but 10 to 1 they're all working from home i know everybody's working from home my insurance my claims officer <laughs> we're working from home today it was a nightmare to get through to him but i eventually got through to him but we're all making these sacrifices and employers if you've got a business that operates and uses office staff there's ways to actually get those office staff to work at home and they can work on their own computers and you can keep an eye on them because you can, yeah, you set up conferences with your secretary and stuff like that. But yeah, there's going to be some things that can't be done at home. Yeah, those things are going to have to wait. But one of the biggest thing is the essential services. The food, the flow of food is going to be the most important thing. We've got to get the food to lock down. We've got to get the food to the people to lock down because if they don't have food, they won't stay locked down. You've got to make sure those people can buy the food they need for 40 days. And for fuck's sake, let them choose what they want to get. Give so many from this group, so many from that group, and make sure that that is enough. Make sure that every person gets that same choice so that they can get the food they need for their whole families. Ask them how many animals they have because they have to be fed it as well. And uh, yeah, Mr. Morrison, my dogs use 10 bags of Aldi food every week. They only eat dry food. They don't eat anything else. But they go through 10 bags. I've got a lot of dogs. I've got some pups that I sell Probably not get them sold before the virus happens. And I'll tell you now, if you don't have a dog, you should own one. You need to know if someone's breaking quarantine in the middle of the night. You need that dog to alert you. You need a dog like ones I've got. They alert you when someone's out there at night. You can don't hear them barking within 10 minutes. You might hear them going off their nuts because one of the guys up the road is walking up the dog park. Oh, I've got a lot of problems here. This it normally takes forever to get the coppers out here. So we've got to become the eyes and the ears for the police. We've got to help this lockdown stay locked down. And we're not turning codes, we're not turn codes, or we're not collaborators, because we're not collaborating with anybody. We're locking the country down ourselves. We're forcing our governments to lock it down because we want to survive. And I know I want to survive, and I know my family want to survive. But if we don't work together, folks, we're not going to fucking survive. And that's the point. We've got to work together to survive. 
and we've got to be willing to lock ourselves up for 40 days and for 40 nights. Noah did it, we can do it. If Noah can do it, we can do it. But as I said, Mr. Morrison, God made sure the animals were looked after. You need to do the same. I'm telling you, Mr. Trump, you need to do the same. Find out how many animals every household hold has and make sure those animals do during the 40 day. You can't just keep supermarkets open during this process. When I say we need to shut everything down, we need to shut everything down, everything, except essential services. That's it. But in this stage of the 40 days, every person needs to be locked down. The ones that are, are the essential services are going to have to work out some way. Maybe you might have to put them up into hotels or whatever, or something. Or make sure that they're separated from their family. Maybe one of them might have to live in one room and have to be totally isolated from their families. Yes, it might have to happen. There's so many little things that still have to be ironed out for the 40 days. But all I know is we need 40 days by looking at the time scale of the virus. In 40 days, we will be able to identify every single case of the coronavirus. Because if they are sick before they go in, and someone in their family catches it from them, they can only catch it from them during the 14 day incubation period you're able to work out the time scale of it and how long to keep the rest of the family in quarantine. But one, the moment houses are cleared, get them into work, and yes, you may have to direct everybody into one type of work. Like back in the war where we needed this, we needed that. Maybe we might have to go up onto farms and work on farms, or, or with me, in my case, I'd have to work and do some kind of clerical thing because I can't really work. I could sit down on a computer. So there are little, many little jobs that we can do. The flow of information is another thing. You need a flow of information. If you don't give it to the people, you're going to wind up with the revolt and people not locking down and not doing what we need. Because, Mr. Morrison, if you don't start locking down now, we're going to lose too many people and people are going to be after your skull. You are the one that they are going to never elect. You will wind up with the worst reputation of any Prime Minister in our country because your efforts have been half asked. Oh, you don't need to wear a mask. That should have been the day that we sacked you. So I'm giving you a chance, Mr. Morrison. Start acting and start talking to the world, uh, world leaders. I should have said the New World Order, because I think that could be part of this fucking thing. But start talking to them, because we need to stop this virus. And if you don't stop it, Mr. Morris, I will tell everybody to quarantine themselves because the poor suckers out there that don't quarantine themselves, they're the ones that are going to drop dead because they're going to keep on spreading it. And if we have to stay in quarantine, well, I know I've got six months worth of food. Do you? I haven't got it all now, Mr. Morrison. I've had it for ages. I'm a prepper. I've been buying my food buy a can or two a week and storing it and buying a dried bag of Deb pea or Deb or peas or mixed vegetables and I've been buying it for ages because that, that food lasts forever. That's the one of the most essential things that people have. But if we do not start acting and acting right now, we are goners. So I'm going to say to all of you, do you want to die? Because I certainly don't. And I'm going to end it here, everybody, because I know for a fact, and I will jump in the chat right after this, I know for a fact that if we don't start quarantining, we will go not to a double figure. I did have another picture, but I, it's not up. We go from double figures to quadruple figures to even bigger figures. Or we can be like this. Have a death rate going down where there's no death. <laughs>
because we've isolated the virus. We finally know where it is. And yes, there are still going to be some people that die from the virus. Because their immune systems just weren't up to it. Could happen to me. It's, can happen to anybody. It's already happened to the Queen. It's already happened to Prince Charles. We need to lock the world down. For 40 days and for 40 nights. Mainly to the fact of the lifespan of the virus. As I said, we will identify every case of this virus. We will know where it is. We can stop the spread. And that's what we've got to do is stop the spread. But for fuck's sake, Mr. Morrison, shut down the mail today. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. Thank you, every ma everybody, for watching this video. And um, as I said, yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to come down here to this little bell down the bottom and click that. Because if you don't click it, you won't get notified. Now, those of you in the chat room, I will be coming into the chat room and we can chat. All right, no worries. Thank you very much.